Yo, what's going on, G Dot family? It's your boy G Dot Tazy back with another VZ. Let's go ahead and get into it. You feel me? We got a, I don't know, man. A girl doing some stupid shit. You know, either it's gonna be a guy or a girl doing some stupid ass shit. Now like, this time we just got a girl. Last time was a nigga in Chicago. I can't believe a nigga in outside of Orland Park of Dave and Buster's was doing some stupid shit. But whatever. Let's go ahead and get straight into the video, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, the notification bell. Also forget to follow me on Instagram, Wildboy G Dot, and Twitter, Wildboy G Dot. Let's get out. In April 2023, police were dispatched to a residence following a report of two individuals violating their probation rules in Portage, Wisconsin. Portage. A 31-year-old female named Jennifer was porch. allegedly in contact with a male individual she was prohibited from being with, thereby breaching the conditions of her two open felony cases. Two felony While cases? Officers were en route to the location. It was learned that both Jennifer and the male left in separate vehicles, with the caller providing a description of each. Officers soon located Jennifer's vehicle and initiated a traffic stop. 33, so you pulled into the drive, well, that wasn't really the smartest thing to do. Jen? Yeah. So I want to talk to you. Were you, where were you at tonight? Uh, my sister. Your sisters, where does she live at? Your name got brought up, and so I just want to talk to you. Yeah, When's the last time? Okay. When's the last time you seen Josh? Uh, I don't know. His name got brought up, and so I'm just trying to wrap my head around. I have very little limited information, so I'm just trying to see. I mean, clearly he's not here. Okay. So you you haven't seen him no. recently? Okay. Alrighty, hang tight for me. I'm trying to figure us out some more information. All right. Well, they say being cool. They're being cool about it, She's though. She's kind of nervous. She says she was at her sister's, and she has two open F friend cases with no contact with JT. Did you ask for insurance and stuff? No, I did not. 25. I'm seeing two open F Frank cases on Jennifer. When asked for further details, she started to become more nervous and agitated. Right, but he's... I don't know why he's calling. Maybe you should go to whoever called. Right, yep, somebody's going over there. Because Josh clearly is not in my car. Right, yep, the call we got was that you guys separated in two vehicles. I left by myself, did I not? Of course she's going to side with you. Come on, Jennifer. I didn't leave with anybody. I don't believe that somebody okay, would just... You don't have to believe me. Okay, see, this is where people be messing up at. You be trying to bug up with the goddamn police, bro. The police ain't the ones you need to bug up with, all right? You're going to try to do all this crazy ass shit with them, and they just going to lock your ass up. They don't give a So stop trying to be all tough Tony with their ass and be cool. RP has video slash photos of them together. 10-4, have you looked at those? Photos and videos video is crazy. I did nothing wrong. Am I free to go? No. Why? One second. 10-4, see if you can get copies of those, please. She has video? Or video and photos. So it sounds like we have documentation, videos, and pictures of you two together. So, no, you are not free um, to go. I'm in date stamp. Talking about time and date stamp, baby. You know, you in, you know you're not innocent. You know you're guilty. Well, I'm just asking. I mean, if I'm being accused of being with somebody that I'm not even with, like... But you were, and I'm not, it's though. documented. I'm not. Right, but you were. Um, I what wasn't. Is, is I was with my kids at my what sister's. What is your bond um, Absolutely no contact. contact. Correct. Does, are there any specifications in there? What does no contact mean to the courts? Absolutely no contact. So but you what does that mean in a law dictionary? Okay. That, that's how you know she's guilty. When she starts saying stupid shit like, what does no contact mean in a law dictionary, baby, you know you're guilty. Just, just get ready to go to jail. Just don't do too much. Don't get any extra charges. Just take your ass to jail. Hey, Jennifer. Compared to, well, I mean, I'm just asking. These are laws, right? Am I right or wrong? I'm just asking so I, I know. As officers asked Jennifer to exit, she refused and put the vehicle in reverse, intentionally ramming the squad car and nearly running over the officer. And that's how you get your ass popped. you pop. step out of the car, you're going to be detained until we figure out what's going on. So you're going to leave your phone in here, though. No. I'm yep, no, nope. That's an officer safety issue. You're not getting your phone in a squad. Um, I'm not going in a f***ing squad, for one. <laughs> she a gangster. She said, I'm not going in a squad for one. But that shit in reverse. She said, I don't care. She's taking off. Hit a car. Damn. She's taking off. Get out of the car now! She's crazy. Taking off. 1080. I don't know why she thought she was going to get away, too. I don't know why. Like, where do you think you were going to go? There you go. Is that officer okay? Yeah. He jumped in his car. Okay. Ported Street, southbound McFarland. Speed to 70. Southbound McFarland, speed to 70. Portage Street, she just blew the red light. Blew the red light. 
She's heading towards the intersection. Get a unit, bro. 25 to 3, I'll take call outs. 33 to 42, and downtown Portage. Still heading westbound, west cook towards the eye. Speeds upwards of 70. No traffic, roads are dry. Just to confirm, I cannot use Rico for apprehension, Carl. Okay. I'm last year. Okay. Man, use that K9, man. Make it easier on yourself, big dog. The Wisconsin River Bridge speeds probably gonna be approaching 80. Roach drive. Frederick, 3336. The vehicle you're gonna be looking for is a Toyota Camry 2013 green color. On an open country road, too. She really thinks she's gonna get away. Roach dry, no traffic. 25 to 13, I copy you. Three and I are first and second right now. Coso is always behind. Approaching 9094 overpass, still speeds of 100, roads dry, no traffic. Portage 3, reason for the stop was our RP willing to make a statement about a felony bond violation. She smoked our squad. We're in pursuit. 25, if you could advise Sauk County, please, or be at Sauk County line here. What here. was that? Sauk County won't help. They won't? No. Will they set up spikes? No. Nope. Damn, they bogus. They said they ain't gonna help y'all ass. They said do it yourself. Should we take the lead? If we can, I mean, they ran the squad car. Yeah, let them know. With speeds reaching 100 miles per hour and the pursuit extending beyond city limits, the officers decided to terminate their pursuit and wow. handed the primary control to a Columbia County Sheriff's deputy. To oh, so he handed it off. Okay, so I mean, shit, she still ain't get away. I thought she got away. Like they're slowing down. 25 to 3. Coastal is going to be coming up, taking over secondary. Reporting sure I copy. Still directly behind the vehicle. My foot's to the floor. Well, oh, yeah, you know, sheriffs ain't playing. Sheriff office ain't playing. They're going to get us. Have any units close to us? They have Baraboo. Where's Baraboo going to set up spikes? Can Portage pit? No. 33, 36, are you ready to overtake me? Speed's up 75 right now. Portage 3, County has pursuit. 25 and I have terminated. We're not gonna chase past the Baraboo City limit building. How yeah. far is that? Uh, about 40 feet or miles. miles. Upon spotting assisting officers stationed ahead with spikes, Jennifer realized she was more than likely in a state of deep shit and pulled into a farm field, ultimately giving herself up. Put a hand out the window. 4326, flashes are on, slowing down, hand out the window. Pulling into a field around. Turn the car off! Turn your car off! Put your hands out the window! Fully! Open the vehicle using the outside handle. Slowly step out of the vehicle and face away from us. Slowly walk back to the sound of my voice. Keep moving. Keep moving. Stop. Go down to your knees. Cross your ankles. All the way to your belly. I'm sorry. All the way, All the way down. Now you're sorry. We don't want to hear that shit. You want to clear the vehicle with me? Oh, you hit a squad car. I don't trust you right now. This one. Yeah, let's go that way. Clear. We'll do the trunk. You want me to hit it? Yeah. Clear. 3357 vehicles clear. Oh, because you want to do some stupid shit. All you had to do was just get, you know, pull it out the car. They weren't even going to do nothing crazy to you. Now you're getting arrested, you're getting more felony charges, and on top of your open felony warrants. Well, cases, and now you're never getting out. Well, not never getting out, but you're not getting out for a long time. They're gonna revoke any bond that you're gonna get. That shit's revoked. Yeah, I know. I'm fine. Okay. As a result of the 14 mile pursuit, Jennifer was charged with felony counts of second degree recklessly endangering safety, vehicle fleeing, eluding an officer, bail jumping times two, and missed him.
misdemeanor criminal damage to property. She was subsequently given a $7,500 cash bond. She still got a bond after all that shit? So for two felony case opens, well, two open felony cases, three more felonies on top of that, and a misdemeanor, you got $7,500, like, bro, that's like, it's gotta be a f She got $7,500 cash bond for that shit? Get the f out of here. That shit cap. Big cap. System. That shit bogus.